Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. You finally reached the Team Mom Next Chapter recap for episode number 11. I will have episode number 12 posted this weekend. That is a promise. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into this recap. So Roxanne is coming home the next day after finishing a month and a half in a recovery program. Since this program is letting her go, Brianna knows that she has completed it. So she is worried because there hasn't been any advice on what to do next. So she really doesn't know what to expect. Roxanne had a tough time as a teenager and she was using a controlled item as a child. And Rihanna fears that Roxanne might fall back into those habits or something new during her recovery. Before Rihanna's mom, Roxanne left, Rihanna and her family set boundaries and let Roxanne know, you know, she will not be able to see the kids unless she's serious about getting better. It is hard for Rihanna because the kids miss their grandmother, but Rihanna knows that it's important to see how Roxanne is doing first. She worries that it might be tough keeping the kids away from her because they love her so much. So on the way to Allie's physical therapy, Leah reflects on Allie's struggle with a rare form of muscular dystrophy that has progressively weakened her muscles. Although Allie has made huge progress over the years, she still faces daily challenges and often clashes lately with Leah about the use of her wheelchair. Because why? She's a teenager and teenagers always want to fight against stuff. <laughs> I mean, guys, come on. We've all been teenagers at one point. She wants to fit in and she wants to be independent. Leah talks to her sister, Victoria, and she expresses concern that Allie relies too much on her and her sisters. Victoria suggests that maybe Allie needs to confront the reality of her situation. Leah acknowledges that Allie tends to avoid talking about it. She literally doesn't want to talk about it. But as a mom, Leah feels that it's important to be honest with her about her condition and help her to become more self-reliant. Cheyenne and Zach are taking things slow with their career talks. I know he's taking it slow anyway. <laughs> While Cheyenne is focused on being more supportive. So Corey is leaving soon once again to film the challenge, which if those of you who are new to the team mom thing, first of all, why y'all so late? Maybe you're young. Okay, won't judge. But the challenge is like a competition, like a physical competition that MTV has like every year or whatever. They've had so many seasons and Corey's like one of the major, you know, players. So every time they have a challenge, they always call him. He comes running. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it ain't free. I'm sure he doesn't go there for free. You know, MTV's hitting him off with some extra change, you know? So yeah, every now and again, he leaves for like three to four months to do this challenge. Cheyenne is worried about how Ryder is going to deal because last time she didn't cope very well. During this particular absence, Cheyenne is going to take Ryder to go see her sisters with Taylor because Taylor's in Seattle. She's going to bring Ryder to Seattle. Corey talks about Ryder going to Seattle for a visit and he asks Taylor if she'll be okay while he's gone. Taylor admits that sometimes she feels embarrassed. Everybody's on her ass about when are you going to get married? Girl, when, when are you going to finally get married? And then she says she has to explain that she doesn't have one. Corey says he refers to Taylor as his wife. And Taylor says, you can't just say that I'm your wife when you haven't made me your mother freaking wife, fool. And she gets irritated, not angrily, but she gets annoyed with this conversation, takes the baby and goes the hell out the room. Sean has been busy with his new home inspection classes while Jade, as usual, has been staying busy with her salon and the real estate. She's feeling nervous about her mom, Christy, who is dealing with legal issues and waiting to find out her sentence. Jade is hoping her mom will only get house arrest and avoid jail time due to this Mary Jane charge. Jade gets a call from her grandmother, Lori, and she finds out that Christy has to spend 62 days in jail because she was not approved for house arrest. They literally took her immediately and put her in jail. Jade thinks about how she always knew what was happening when she was a kid with the adults in her life, even when someone was in jail. And she's glad that Chloe had a different childhood. And Jade feels her own rough upbringing actually made her a better parent 
but now she needs to figure out how to explain everything to Chloe. Cheyenne says that she's never really hung out with Taylor without Corey, but she hopes that she's doing okay. And she talks to Zach about making sure that Ryder will be all right while Corey is gone again. Cheyenne then calls Taylor to confirm the Seattle trip and it's all set. So Leah says that she's struggling with Allie not wanting to use her wheelchair and relying more on her and her sisters. She feels that they need to step back a little bit and help Allie become more independent, even though it's not gonna be easy. So Leah is sitting here talking to Aaliyah about helping Allie accept her muscular dystrophy and the importance of using the wheelchair. Aaliyah believes that Allie avoids it because she doesn't wanna appear different to everybody else. Leah says that they need to find a balance when supporting Allie without holding her back and wants Aaliyah to focus on her own goals without feeling pressured to always take care of Allie. Brianna picks up Roxanne from the airport. Brittany stays behind. She did not want to come there with her. And she pretty much wanted Brianna to see how Roxanne was first. Devoin is watching the girls and the girls will not see Roxanne until she's settled in. Brianna reflects on not fully understanding her mom due to the fact that she kept so many secrets, like she really doesn't know the real Roxanne. And so she understands that her mom will not be a completely different person after returning. So at the airport, we're driving away from the airport. Roxanne's asking about the girls and Brianna asks if she spoke to Brittany. Roxanne says she texted her, but she didn't get any response. Brianna asks Roxanne about her plans for therapy, doctors, psychiatrists, etc. Roxanne says that she's waiting on emails and she is now 100% off of the medicinal help for her dependency. It's crazy how I have to change these words, guys. I really hope you can understand what the hell I'm saying. And if anything that I ever say in any of my videos is unclear to you or I spoke too fast and you didn't catch it, please feel free to go to my comment section, ask questions, give your input. Brianna praises, praises what I do. Sorry, guys. Anyway, <laughs> Brianna praises Roxanne for her hard work and Roxanne acknowledges how difficult it was saying that she really has to give herself grace because that was freaking brutal. Cheyenne, Zach, and the kids are in Seattle. Cheyenne calls Taylor to let her know. Taylor comes over with the girls and, you know, they talk about the kids and how they're handling Corey being gone. Ryder is mostly fine, but Taylor's girls have their moments. Cheyenne asks how things have been with Corey ever since Teen Mom Family Reunion when y'all went to Columbia and Taylor was crying about not being married, child. Yes, she was. Y'all missed all that if you didn't watch that, that season. I'm not saying it was great, you know. I'm not gonna lie. I, I felt like I was being tortured, uh, a wounded soul, as I was recapping that freaking uh, season, guys. It was very painful, not gonna lie. But you missed a little something, something. Okay, they got into some big... Mm. Anyway, I'm not gonna go back. You just watch this recap, and if you want to go back, I actually did recap the entire season of Teen Mom Family Reunions. Taylor says that everyone is pushing her to get married, but Corey says he's never seen a successful marriage, is what Cheyenne says that she's always heard from Corey, even though his parents have happily remarried. So it's literally no excuse anymore. So Taylor thinks that Corey would want a healthy marriage for their kids to see. Cheyenne agrees and says that she needs Corey to be the best version of himself for Ryder so that Ryder sees how men should treat her. And Taylor says Corey doesn't treat her badly, but she thinks more can be done. And she doesn't want to waste her years on mother freaking Corey. Cheyenne believes that Corey thinks that he is committed, but his idea of commitment is different from Taylor's. So Taylor says that she's getting tired of the situation. She used to cry about it, but now she's just angry. She's not hurt anymore. She's just mad. And it's going to get to a point where she doesn't care anymore. And that's going to be a huge problem. Cheyenne supports Taylor and hopes that they can figure it out. Brianna and Roxanne talk about making a plan so that Roxanne isn't left alone. And she suggests that some days she'll be at her house and some days Brianna will come visit Roxanne. Roxanne agrees that being alone is not good for her. She admits that she tends to isolate herself. And Brianna asks Roxanne what will be different now. And Roxanne says that she needs to stay on her meds, like her mood stabilizers, which helped when she was at the facility. So Roxanne shares how she hid her struggles for a long time. And she's grateful that her daughters were protected, unlike her own childhood. She wonders where the hell the adults were. Brianna asks 
if Roxanne is still willing to work on her trauma. And Roxanne says yes, but she knows that she needs more help. Brianna hopes that Roxanne is on the path to recovery, both physically and mentally. And she reassures Roxanne and they agree to talk in the morning the next day when Roxanne will see the girls. Jade explains that her parents had an apartment lined up, but since her mom, Christy, went to jail, she cannot sign the lease or move in. So she's gonna let her dad stay with them while her mom is in jail. Jade doesn't mind helping her dad because he's trying to improve his life. And she says that she can't hold a lot against her mom for the things that she did in the past when she was struggling with dependency on chemicals. Jade knows that she can't change the past herself, so she tries not to get too upset or stressed about it. Instead, she focuses on being there for her mom to talk, knowing that that's important. Jade talks to her mom in jail. Christy says that she's been clean for 15 months, but had to go back to jail for something from 2018. It's tough, but she's getting through it and hopes to put all of it behind her for good. Christy admits that she never thought she'd be back in jail and she feels like, girl, I'm too old for this. And you are, ma'am. Okay, but you know what? Let's not hold your mistakes against you. Serve your time, get out, don't do it again, all right? Anyway, Christy says that she's trying to make the best of it. When Chloe goes to talk to Christy on the phone, Jay says, oh, she's at work, she's at work. And basically avoiding the truth about where Christy really is because in her mind as a child, they usually think only bad people go to jail. So she didn't really know how to explain it to her. Leah talks with Allie about using her wheelchair. Allie feels that she knows her limits and Leah trusts her to do what's best, but warns, that, you know, overexerting yourself can make you even weaker. And Leah agrees to step back, let Allie be more independent, but suggests asking the doctor if she really doesn't need the wheelchair. And Leah acknowledges that it's hard to step back while keeping Allie safe, but believes facing challenges will help Allie accept her condition and become more independent. She reassures Allie that using a wheelchair is about maintaining independence and that independence may look different for everybody and that's okay. And Leah talks to Allie about the importance of speaking up as she's starting high school. Zach Taylor, Cheyenne, and the children go to an art play place. Corey calls to talk to the girls. Cheyenne gives credit to everyone for making co-parenting work, especially Zach and Taylor, who make it easier for her and Corey. She mentions that asking Zach to come with her to Seattle, where her ex's girlfriend lives, isn't easy but it becomes easier when they all put the kids first. So Brittany and Brianna are here sitting and talking about Roxanne. Brittany asks Brianna how it was seeing their mom. Brianna says Roxanne was more relaxed and took accountability, which is a difference from how she used to be, pointing fingers at everybody, all right? Brittany feels it's too soon to fully trust Roxanne and it will take day by day and it's up to her to decide when she's gonna go, you know, visit her. Brianna plans to take the girls to see Roxanne that day because they keep asking about her. And Brittany says to Brianna, you know, if the girls aren't upset when they're around her or whatever, then it's okay for them to still have a relationship with her. Nova and Stella finally reunite with Roxanne. And look at Nova. She's so freaking happy. So sweet. Brianna notices how tired her mom looks, but sees it as a sign that she's working through her trauma. Roxanne asks for help organizing her meds. Stella asks, when can they sleep over? There was like this pause because like, okay, what do you say to this young child that wants to spend the night at her grandmom's house? Roxanne says once she's better. Brianna believes that her kids are a big reason why Roxanne is trying to stay healthy and she is there to support her mom. Short and Sweet is the name of this game and you have a couple more videos coming this weekend. Um, some of which I'm very excited about and one of them I know it's gonna be a good video but I'm not excited about it only because um, it's, a, it's a true crime story, yikes. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.